Alright, Thunderfoot uh, response video type thing, you know, with the uh, minerals and stuff, haven't done in a while. Um, I'm going to post a second part to this video on my old, um, you know, whatever, non-commercial alternative channel. Just because that's to do with the whole partnership thing, YouTube, politics of this, and all that kind of crap. So I'll save that for there. Yeah, something like that. So anyway, um, yes, the element is number 15, I think I'm up to, <laughs> I think it's 15. Phosphorus. Yeah, it's all glowy and stuff. Um, yeah, really reactive. I know I've said that. I, I keep saying it, but yeah, phosphorus is really hard to find naturally uncombined with something, untainted, <laughs> you know, by mixing. Um, it's part of the whole DNA thing, just a little tiny part, though, really. Uh, really reactive does does that glow in the darky stuff you know when you energize it and all that kind of stuff um, lots of isotopes and stuff gets in balanced easy so it shoots out crap um, what else a uh, most important thing you get too much phosphorus you get smoking stool syndrome <laughs> yeah doesn't that sound like fun no don't play with phosphorus you don't want no smoking stool syndrome no, 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 no. Um, anyway, it's not really a metal, but it sort of looks a little metally. Um, yeah, it only like um, you know, it doesn't you know, it comes in different forms, like diamond and carbon, you know, carbon, diamond, carbon. Well, phosphorus can be red, or it can be some other color, or some other color. I don't know, but anyway, it can be arranged differently, uh, atomically and such, so forth. So anyway, on to the Thunder, Thunder, Thunderfoot, Thunder, Thunderfoot video. Do, 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 do. Hey, thank you for playing the video, YouTube. Thank you. Because it's not going to play the video. That's pretty fucked up. Play the video, please. Oh, man, my damn. All the people yeah, of this is. earth, they're truly one. Oh. In 1969, there's like... I, I love that kind of crap. They're truly one who are constantly at war with each other and have completely different values and interests. Yeah, but they're all one. Iconic words shot across the quarter of a million miles of space from our home to the moon. While going to the moon yes. was a concerto of science. Even it was a concerto. It was the big moment in science was when we went to the moon and found out it was absolutely no point in going to the moon because it was exactly as we figured, just a bunch of old dust and s such. But yeah, we had to do it, and we did do it, so that's the good part. The bad part is, can't eat it. Yeah, it doesn't really do us any good. Informers technology, that was arguably not its primary impact on mankind. Yes. Through our empathetic extrapolation, please. Oh, through our empathetic extrapolation. I mean, it's just so, you know, it's such a, a brilliant word, the stupid empathy word. You know, it's, it's just such a, it's, it's just, just such room for, for, for uh, mayhem that word creates. Because you can imagine something doesn't mean you're going to um, feel its pain. It just means that you might humiliate it. <laughs> by imagining it. To men on the lunar surface, imagining their experience, it changed the way... Yeah, and imagine when they got back, these crazy fucktards did all kinds of loopy, nutty crap. I mean, one of these assholes climbed Mount Ararat looking for Noah's Ark. You know, another one of these nutballs um, saw his frozen piss bouncing off the front window and thought it was UFOs. Should I empathize with that, too? I don't think so. We view ourselves as a species. We'd all seen the moon hang in the sky many times, but seeing the images of that bright blue marble so alone in the void as it ethereally rose above the lunar surface. Well, actually, in 1969, you didn't see really shit, actually. So it took a while for those photographs to start making their way into the the public view. Cover of Life magazine and stuff, you got some pretty good images. Still not very high resolution. National Geographic some, but uh, TV kind of sucked back then actually. Um, mine sure did. I saw them land on the moon on a six inch television. Six inch black and white television. Yeah. It really brought back the primary message that we are all alone. 
Uh, we are all alone. So that's the primary message that we brought back from the moon, is that we are all alone. Hmm. I think we knew. I think we had gotten that message before. Yeah, I think we did. All together, we only have each other. The grainy handheld shot did not detract one iota. Well, we only have each other is another one of these little silly things. It sounds like a nice phrase, but what the fuck else are we supposed to have? The magic hippopotamus, the spaghetti monster, what the fuck else are we supposed to have? And would it be all better and better off than us? <laughs> you know, would, would it uh, have all the answers? I don't think so. Or it would have already gave them to us, huh? I think so. From what was so simple, so blindingly obvious from this distant vantage point, that all the people of this earth, they are truly one. Ah, truly one again. We're all truly one. Divisible and uh, with justice for few. Um, under spaghetti monsters or whatever you choose to have as your bullshit that everybody's obliged for some dumb reason to respect. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm here. Yeah, um, but I'm here on like the little tiny little portion over here where people are rational and the rest of the world's covered with a bunch of lunatics. The moment was experienced by everyone who watched, but the moment was short-lived, and most of it was washed away by the things that men do. Ah, yes, that's right. Hostages and crises and all kinds of disco. It was washed away by disco. Ooh, Saturday night fever and such. Ooh. Yeah, all wiped believe, away. Our technology has now progressed to the point where a similar such moment is within our reach. Ah, uh, similar Since such moment. Once again, for a brief moment, all the people of this earth, they may be truly one. Uh, okay, so he thinks something as big as landing on the moon is right over the horizon. <clears throat> and we just have to go look for it. So let's see what it's going to be. And that they may feel unified through the experience of an expanding horizon. Ah, something expanding. We're going to expand. We're going to, we're going to realize that we can use different varieties of potato for our potato chips and for our french fries. That we don't have to keep using russet potatoes. We can use all kinds of different kinds of potatoes. Yeah. Oh, it's going to be so fucking good. Seeing things from a different mental vantage point. But it's all black. That's all I see is blackness. All I see is the blackness of it. Black. This summer, I sat under the stars. Ah, oh, again. And as my telescope... An excuse to again play your time-lapse photography of your telescoperopsity. Of your little... Ah, look, I saw Jupiter go blinkity blinkity. The telescope was not actually moving. It was the stars wow. on the telescope that were the only fixed frame of reference. And it was merely the Earth spinning in the foreground underneath the static stars. And then... Yes, and... Isn't that not terribly fascinating? Yes, the Earth turns, and then the stuff we can see turns because the Earth turned. Okay, pretty cool. Little starry sparkly things, little Saturday thingy. Okay. Okay-ish. Maybe partly, possibly interest. I don't know. I, I don't know if it's as interesting as um, watching a potato grow in slow motion. Potato growing in slow motion might be even more interesting. Maybe. Possibly. I turned the telescope towards Jupiter and I watched oh. the planet rotate. Oh my. As I looked at that bright planet in the sky, oh. I could feel the real-time pulse. Of the this is a fake, I think. I think that's fake. I think that's bigger than it is in real, in reality. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a fake. It's a fake. Oh, isn't that cute, though? He has his own little image of Jupiter. His own personal image of something we, like, flew 50 miles away from and took really up-close pictures of every little inch of it. Solar system. <coughs> changed my perception. The point where now, when I look out the window to the horizon, all I see is the planet curling away underneath my feet. Curling away? Oh, so now all he feels is the movement of the planet. Yeah, that's, I'm a little seasick on this planet myself, but I, I have an ear problem, I think. I shared that moment with thousands on YouTube, but I was essentially only one man. He shared it with thousands on YouTube, and all of us got wet panties. Except for me, I didn't really think it was all that fascinating. Locked in one location on the planet, 
and that limits what one man can achieve. However, ah, yes, but through the miracle of satellite technology and human diversification on different continentoids, we can projectorize and simmerize a whole bunch more seconds of interesting star movement footage. All such people, made one through the march of technology, through the internet, could unify to keep up such a vigil for 24 hours. And I don't think they would do it through the internet, right? No, I think they would just do it through cameras. That's right, they would each take their portion of the video and then you'd just splice the videos together and that would be it. Fascinating. Broadcast it to the world. Ah, the broadcast. Would... The, this would be as big as landing on the moon. The moon. Hmm. Well, brought together through technology, allowing one watchful planet to feel the pulse of another one. You look, newsflash. You know, we took pictures of this. We have all of this stuff. We flew little monstery robot-y thing right next to it. Flew around it. Took pictures of it. We did all this stuff already. Decades ago. Decades ago. Such that for one brief moment, all the people of this Earth can be one. One in their perception of their position on the Earth. Oh, yes, okay, so you'll be able to wonderize on the fact that we are all on different places on the Earth. That's right. Some places are wet and some places are dry. And some places have, uh, like, you know, greener grass than other places, maybe. Feeling it spin underneath their feet, while through the many eyes of the world, perceiving the dynamic nature of the solar system through the formistry of the emergent technology of mankind. And then we'll all go incredibly, we'll just get so phantasmagorically sustainified by the roundness of the babaloos that are flying around us all the time, the babaloos. Yeah. Really, this is it, huh? This is this is what you people live for? Little roundy... Oh, look at planet colors. Pretty colors. Pretty colors. The planets will be in the right position to do this in about six months. <gasps> One way or another, oh, I no. must see this happen. You must and see the it. Of this goal, you I've must. This. Okay, so Jupiter's going to be there, and the sun is going to be in the middle, and the Earth is going to be in between Jupiter and the sun. Well, that probably happens a lot. I guess something over here is going to be somewhere. Maybe Mars is going to be somewhere. Oh, I guess this diagram doesn't really show shit. There's an entry to the YouTube Next Up program. Oh, he's entering the YouTube Next Up program. Oh, that's exclusive to partners only. Isn't that charming? So, okay, I'm up to 12 minutes already. Um, so anyway, yeah, this is more of this, whatever this crap is, this phantasmagorical bullshit. Like, you know, this is what science isn't about discovering the truth. It's just about discovering. No, we discovered something. We discovered that this is plastic bottle. Uh, I almost lost control. And that's all you're doing. I mean... Every fact we glean from the universe just makes it clearer and clearer how stupid the whole fucking idiotic game is. Ugh. Crap. Grow the fuck up. This is a shithole. Where, where animals are, are ripping, uh, you know, other animals to pieces just to steal a few, you know, um, calories of energy. It's, um, it's a bloodbath for no purpose fail all over the place and uh, you know you getting gooey over your little mountain climbing moments is um, an insult to intelligence it's not a tribute to it um, yeah that's enough all right so I'll post another video on the other channel that you probably don't even know exists about this whole next up partner bullshitty fuck shit YouTube crap. Thank you very much.